Nick, I know you guys were saying it on the radio. We were here. This upcoming stretch of games, big for the Hornets. A lot of playoff teams on the schedule. How convincing of a win was this today, man? They needed it. They <laughs> needed it in the biggest way because, you know, you look at, at the way things had gone since Gordon Hayward got hurt, and you saw a team that just didn't play up to their potential. And the potential was diminished because they were missing everybody. <laughs> so to see them go out there. Friday was a great win. Friday yeah. stopped the bleeding. Mm -hmm. Tonight, though, today was just a commanding, commanding win by this team. And how about these role players that just continue to step up? Jalen McDaniels and Miles Bridges, two guys that are going to get a lot more playing time, I feel like, once, uh, once even the health is restored in this team, don't you think? You know what the, the most interesting part about this is? We worried about their depth over the course of the season, mm -hmm. and now because their depth has been tested time and time again, yeah. when everybody comes back, assuming they can get everybody back healthy by the end of the regular season, now all of a sudden you've got one of the deepest teams uh, in, in a much deeper team. Guys like McDaniels, obviously. But let's talk about the play of Miles Bridges. Oh, my goodness. I uh, saw so he's averaging, and he helped it today, over 19 points a game in the month of April. And a lot of it's about, it, you know, he's always been a guy with the big dunks. He's always been the guy that could yeah. throw down the dunk. Now he's adding three-point shooting. He's shooting <laughs> about 40% from three-point. Mm -hmm. He's added a different part of his game and right. I think if again if you can get healthy for the playoffs <laughs> that can only mean good things for this team. Can I get your take on this this upcoming schedule we take a look at right now the Bucks are up next that's on Tuesday and they we know they beat the Bucks both teams were injured then curious what will happen there they get the Celtics again Wednesday you think that's going to be a tough one? <laughs> the Celtics might have something to prove that <laughs> night. <laughs> I would think so then it's the Pistons and the Heat so three of those four teams are all squads that the Hornets are looking up at in the standings. Do you think they can maybe, well, we'll save it for quick six. I'll ask you more about their yeah. seating later on. Yeah.